Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is going to act as both a celebration and a memorial. Unreal Engine Fortnite keeps marching forward, and part of that progress means that Fortnite has to stay on the level with this new system. That means with the introduction of every new mechanic, a lot of times it breaks an old mechanic from Creative 1.0 and we're slowly losing all the maps that were made in Creative 1.0. Now since it doesn't seem like Nintendo will ever do an official crossover in the foreseeable future, and Creative 2.0 rules mean we can't really do any copyright materials, I want to go back in time and check out one of the best creative maps ever, a series of Pokemon story maps made in the 1.0 creative system. The first of these maps is literally called Pokemon by Narxo. Island codes all in the description down below. Beginning of the Pokemon adventure founded the best team of Pokemon. Catch your first legendary and beat the arena champion. Professor Oak and Bulbasaur. Young trainer, to be able to catch and create your team of Pokemons, I give you some coins. Perhaps the biggest difference between Creative 1.0 and 2.0 is you could not import character models. Everything you see in Creative 1.0 is built of smaller objects. So we found the Pokemart, and I guess we can buy Pokeballs here. And they take the form of a lump of coal. We also got a Poke Center here, just in case things go bad. Oh! I don't have the proper dance for that. That was a jam right there. Music was also a thing that had to be physically created in Creative 1.0. Somewhere on this map, there's a little trigger that goes through the actual notes manually. We must catch one legendary to gain access to the arena. Okay, so we actually have a goal on this map. Let's get that legendary. First, we're gonna have to get some regular Pokemon. Maybe this Poliwrath? Oh, a Poliwhirl, okay. He just looked a little angrier to me. I guess he was worried. That's what that was. I think we're gonna have to go on a bit of adventure, leave our hometown. Oh, we have infinite too, so. Let's go ahead and catch whatever we can, huh? Got a Gulpin. He's mixing up the gens too. The two main bugs and then Gulpin from uh, Hoenn region. Tangela. This is testing my Pokemon knowledge right here, actually. Little Oddish. This is like a wilting Oddish right here. Someone's got to water this Oddish. Hello, that's actually a rare. An Apom and a Dugtrio. <laughs> this Dugtrio is made of wood. Reminds me a bit more of a uh, Mokujin from Tekken. What's this? Ooh, a Poke Flute. Maybe that'll come in handy later. I think in game lore, we're in the Viridian Forest, or at least that's what this is supposed to be. Let's get a look at the, oh, here we are, the Snorlax. And we did catch the Poke Flute, so you know what? We're anime lore appropriate right now. Another Snorlax came and blocked my way back to town. Or maybe we are, we got through the forest. Okay, you son of a bitch. I need to go back and get that Poke Flute. A few moments later. Oh my god, I didn't mean to kill him. Ah, oh, but you know what? That's what he deserved. Let's be real here. You know what? I'll even get a Lapras too. Just go. Oh, what? He denies me. I guess this is more of like a honor system, you know? Since I'm throwing rocks at him. They just decide they want to be my friends instead. Let's get a look around, and yeah, see, there's the other town. So we did go a bit through a forest. We are on an adventure right now. And I don't think you can catch the same Pokemon twice. So we're on a quest here. Aha, finally got my Chansey. Just had to find the wild one. Magnemite, one of my faves. Classic. Collapsed Cave, classic. This Lapras is a little closer. Maybe I can catch it right here? Yes. That other one was just stubborn. He didn't want to be my friend. Hello, young trainer. Mary, you escaped from my enclosure. Would you please bring it back to me? Okay, so I'm guessing this is the sheep enclosure. <laughs> he put little, little smiley faces in here. Let's call those smiley faces. That's the farmer's enclosure. We got to find the missing Marie. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and check up this mountain first. Oh my God, this is the Gyarados. Look at him. Just hanging out in his little pond area waiting to be caught. I'm gonna have to assume the farmer's Mareep is here in this castle, so we're gonna go visit. <gasps> Ooh, and I almost didn't see this guy. Phantom. That's what his name is. That's one of the newer gens, but it's definitely one of the cool ones. There's no way in, unfortunately. I think it's just set decoration, but it does look very nice. I was kind of hoping there would be like a ghost Pokemon mansion. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I just can't seem to find this farmer's Mareep. I'm gonna take a run around the whole map, I guess, to try to find this damn thing. One eternity later. I actually wasn't thinking smart enough. See, I gotta inspect these footprints, and then it shows me where I should be going. Okay, so we're actually chasing the Mareep. And what? It, oh, we got a parkour section. Okay. My biggest advice would be just to run and jump every single time. Looks like Mareep just found some berries. 
And we had to destroy him too. Extreme prejudice, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't even see this diglet right here by the Mareep. Making our way back to the farmer now. And I'll be honest, I was inspired to do this video by an old Lachlan video that I watched. Just looking around for interesting 1.0 maps. And I gotta say, it's been vastly improved since that video. Ah, and now we have the keys to the ghost mansion. Let's go check it out. Though I have to wonder why this farmer owns a mansion. I guess he's a very successful Mareep farmer. Ooh, it's so spooky. Everything's floating around. Identify the five unknown to be able to leave. Okay, so we gotta get searching. Yes, we got one, got the eye of the tiger. And we got the A for Pokemans. F, A, F, I, really? Are we taking it back to those early 2000s emo days? I gotta do some real parkouring here. A, F, I, O, we're just getting a spread of vowels here. It's the worst Wheel of Fortune puzzle. T, I don't even know what that spells. We got a T-A-I-F-O. Is it calling me Fatio? Oh, God. That's so rude. Oh, we gotta go check out the cave explosion. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Diglets. And Doug Trio's everywhere. Oh, it's an Onyx. It's cool. He's friendly. Onyx is just a big, cuddly guy. Look at him. That's got to be the easiest Pokemon to make. It's literally just rocks. Guess we have to attempt to find our way through this cave. Ooh! There it is, the legendary Jirachi. That's the legendary of the level, the Wish Granter. I believe that's a Steel Psychic. Actually, a very interesting pairing. I really did like Jirachi. Let the battle begin, baby! Onyx versus Charizard. The Dance of Flames! He's a rock type stupid that's not gonna ever work on him. There you go, avalanche attack. Flying fire, instant death. It's a four times weakness, baby. This is like the hard house rat beat version of the Pokemon theme. We can't catch this Charizard, unfortunately. But we did see every single Pokemon on this map. But there is a sequel to this map, and we're gonna check it out right now. But before that, comment down below what your favorite Pokemon was from this current map. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with someone you love. This town is called Grizzard on Rock, by the way. Bit of a snowy biome. And at least from the promo material, I expect it to be a bit more Hoenn-centric. Start catching. Looks like we're gonna have to get the Poke Flute again for the Snorlax. Oh, and who is this? A trainer. Hey, young trainer, I'll let you pass if you help me find my Jigglypuff. It ran away and he likes to play hide and seek. Now, I got a feeling that the guy's Jigglypuff is actually behind this Snorlax. So, first we gotta find the way to wake up this Snorlax. And here we go, of course. Little Shwine up, thank you. Probably dug it up special for us this Christmas. And I smite thee, foul Snorlax. God, that's three Pokemon murders already. That almost makes us a serial killer, a Pokemans. So I can't catch this Jigglypuff, unfortunate. I just gotta take it back to him. It's just like the real game. You can't steal the cool Pokemon. That'd make you like Team Rocket, you know? Here you go, son. Now this zone is much less of a trail than the last map. More wild, you know? Intense for you to get lost out here. But the goal is the same. Catch those Pokemon, find that legendary. Got a Mareep again. Ah, oh, we're just like Ash. For some reason, we have level 80 Pokemon and we put them all in the PC when we go to a new zone. And I'm just noticing we have an actual mission. We gotta go to the temple and talk to the scientists. So let's get there. Gotta remember that backpack for later. No doubt there's another Snorlax somewhere. An Alekid, that's new. Okay, so there are some new Pokemon mixed in with some old ones like the Krabby, everyone's favorite, Psyduck. The crowd pleaser. Oh look, it's just a little clutch of Bulbasaur's. He's even doing a vine whip. And we actually need two legendary Pokemon to gain entrance to the arena. That's probably gonna be the Hoenn legendaries. Vileplume, new. Very rare, based, classic. Sudowoodo, classic. Shouldn't this be a barrier Pokemon? I remember this Pokemon messing up my day in gold silver. Ah, here we are. Wild Jigglypuff. Not gonna have one for myself. Oh, okay, it's like a ruin. Gygas, the Reggie Gygas. Can I even catch this? Or do I need a super Pokeball? Still his Voltorb real quick. Young adventurer, I lost my things in the forest. I need them to study this Gygas. Could you help me to recover them? Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> Too bad I already caught it. GG's, bro. I've already seen a couple backpacks, so this is just going to be some backtracking. Or backpack tracking? Got the one by the Snorlax, and we already caught this guy. Here's the bag with the Poke Flute, all the way back by the Gulpin. 
Damn, all the way back at the beginning of the level, essentially. So I'm realizing the Pokeballs actually create some sort of trail, so we're meant to parkour all the way up that. Let's figure this out. Oh, God. Oh, it's so glitchy. Come on. I can just pick it up. I don't even need to jump over there. Mr. Pokemon Researcher Man, we have all of your backpacks. Thanks for recovering my lost belongings. I'll now enter the volcano. This map seems like it'll be a little bit shorter because we're already at the volcano and we have most of the Pokedex done. Right now, we're moving to get the other legendary Pokemon. Once again, I'm Spookified. Free the three Magnemites stuck in the Greystones to weaken Groudon. So we can't catch him right off the bat. We have to solve a little puzzle here. I think we have to actually just pickaxe the stones. Oh god, the lava! Wow, this is actually like a dungeon. I did not expect that. Eventually. Yes. Get in my Pokeball, bitch. And now I must face off against the arena champion. I can only assume there's some sort of victory road before we get there. Oh my god, I didn't even notice there's an Altaria in the air, dude. That's a powerful Pokemon. That's actually Elite Four champion material right there. Oh, we enter Victory Road. The Maze of Madness. Damn it, Vileplume, you don't belong in this maze. I've already caught you. Get out of here. I think I actually just discovered a trick with the Vileplume. <laughs> just break the maze entirely. Wow, I just lead with the legendaries. I'm scum. Torterra attacks Grass Trench. Is that a move, Grass Trench? Reggie Guy, oh yes, Fog Attack. That's the real power play right there. You're the Lord of Braille and he used the Fog of War Attack. Oh, he actually just used his Hyper Beam. That's why we're champion, baby. Multiple regions. What do you gotta save for yourself? Nothing. Former champion, you live in disgrace. No one will ever know your name. I'm so proud of you, Reggie Guy Gas. We did it. Me and you. Together. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out one of these right next to me. Now, there is a third map in this series, and it's a lot more modern than these ones, so if you'd like to see me play that, be sure to like and comment down below what your favorite Pokemon from these maps was. Fingers crossed that maybe one day we get an official Nintendo crossover of any type. I'll catch y'all in the next video.